Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com and I've got another quick little Photoshop tip for you today so you can add a little bit of life to your pictures. Now, have you ever been outside, you've taken some pictures and you've noticed that the sky is very gray on an overcast day, but you know, as well as I do, that that's probably the best time to shoot is when it's overcast. It's like a giant softbox. The problem with that is, is you, you, don't get any, you don't get any clouds or you don't get any blue to the sky. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Uh, we're going to show you today how we can do it using just an overlay. Uh, we're going to use a blending mode and we're going to just take some clouds and uh, we're going we're gonna to put them over top here. So this way here, it looks like it actually had some clouds and it was a bluish sky. Now, in most cases... I would probably crop this image anyway so you wouldn't see this guy, uh, but I wanted to show you this just for demonstrational purposes. So let's go ahead and open up our sky. So what I have here is just some clouds that I Googled and, and I found them and I'm just going to use them as an overlay over here. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just drag them into this document. It's telling me that the RGB or the sRGB is not the same as the camera that it was shot with. That's okay. We don't care about that. And we don't really care too much about this being out of skew, okay? Meaning I don't have to hold the shift key and make sure that these clouds stay exactly proportioned. I can stretch them like that. It's no big deal. So that's what I'm going to do, all right? And the bounding box is already there because I have that checked. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let me just go ahead and click apply. And you can see up here where it says show transform controls. That's because I have that checked. And that's why that was like that. Sometimes I leave out those little details and I get emails saying, Scott, could you tell us how you did that? So I just wanted to point that out. Next thing we're going to do is just go here in the uh, layer mode and we're going to go to multiply. And then we've already got some clouds, but we've got some overlap here. Now you can just come in here and erase this if you wanted to. What I'm going to do is just add a layer mask just by clicking on this here. I'm going to go down here and make sure that this is on black on my foreground. I'm going to go to my paintbrush and let's see, I'm going to use my bracket keys to make this smaller or you can just go up here and dial it down make sure that my softness or my hardness is all the way down so this it's soft on the edges and then I'm just going to go ahead in here and just lightly touch this okay now I don't want it up there in the trees so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to lightly touch that as well now we're not done okay because I'm going to what I'm going to do here is we're going to fade this out a little bit too so now I can just drop the opacity down a little bit because we don't want it too, too much. We just want it to be that natural look. And that's really all you got to do. That's it. Look, no sky, sky. And that's it. And we can save that out. And now we've got a picture that has a nice blue sky with a few clouds in there. It looks natural and it wasn't hard. Now, if those clouds are too uh, sharp, let's say that they're too sharp. Let's say that I left that up there like that, just so you can see. Actually, let me zoom in. Let me bring that down. Just put a little blur on it. Go to filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur, and in this case, it's going to match this. I've got it at 7.8. That looks pretty good. Click OK. Again, I might want to just dial it down a little bit. Okay, that's just to kind of take down the, the tone of the blue, or you could always just go into your saturation, image, adjustments, hue and saturation. Let me bring that over so you can see it, and I can just dial that down if I want to. However you want to do it. There's tons of different ways to do it. Uh, in this case, I would probably just take and dial down the opacity. So this way here, you have full control over that. So that's pretty much it. That's how you add some clouds or some life to a dull, boring uh, sky. And you can use this on any type of image, whether it's family shots, a senior, it doesn't really matter. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Once again, my name is Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com. If you haven't done so already, you probably want to head over to NewPortraitBiz.com and you can get a ton more like this lesson right here and a whole bunch more for your photography to help improve, help you grow, and help you create better portraits in the future. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you later.